Sarah did tell me she'd given this interview. She certainly cleared the air. Perhaps she could have been a little less emphatic. I wouldn't marry anyone if I didn't love him. Even if it was the dustman or the king of England. She might at least have given me top billing. So, now they're lying in wait for the next candidate. Wouldst marry him who will our England rule, you must be proven chaste and fair and fruitful. That says it. So, Henry V managed to find his lady. Henry VI and VII. Then there was Henry VIII and he found VI. Hardly your style, sir. Now imagine the energy. Wife wanted. Only the chaste, fair, and fruitful need apply. Which one is this? The cheese fair. Protocol. I nibble and clear British cheese to be the finest. But in a way not to offend our common market friends in the Netherlands, France, and Italy. <clears throat> the chairman's name is Reynolds. The first cheeses will be from Derbyshire. She is young. And spontaneous. Exactly. I gather you'll be seeing Lady Diana again? Yes. The press have already labelled her. Mystery girl in the bushes. Inevitably. The funny thing is, they don't upset her. She treated the whole thing as a lark. Do you think you might be falling in love with her? I certainly enjoy being with her. <laughs> Perhaps I could be in love. I don't know. And Lady Diana? Well, she seems to like me. It could be just an infatuation. No, I don't think it is an infatuation. She could be hurt, you know. Hmm. So could I. Am I interrupting? Hello. Yes, of course I am. Sorry. No, no, wait. I could do with a modest interruption. I'm waiting for Charles. It seems to be a way of life. These past few weeks have just been such a rush. I have noticed. Is there anyone in the world who isn't involved in our marriage? I doubt it. Perhaps one elderly bachelor in North Borneo. <laughs> the pressure's awful. But in a way, it's helpful. I mean, as long as a hundred things are happening, there isn't time to panic. Panics in some cases have their uses. The mind grows through them and acquires a firmer habit than before. <laughs> Shakespeare? Tom Paine. Are you telling me it's all right to panic? No, I'm, I'm telling you, if I may, that once you've felt it, you'll grow stronger because of it. Don't be too sure. Lately, there have been moments. Oh, we all know them. Everyone tells me how well I cope. I'm beginning to hate that word. You've opted for a way of life, Diana. And it's demanding. It's, it's stressful. And how you deal with it depends on why you chose it. 
I've seen your eyes whenever you say Charles's name. Panics, in some cases, have their uses. It's bound to be the little old bachelor from North Borneo. Yes, put him through. 